Hey, listen, we've made espresso straight out of the box using the Breville Bambino Plus. Today, we're gonna steam milk. We're gonna make a latte and a cappuccino straight out of the box here on Bean Basics. Oh, hey there. Welcome to Bean Basics with Bob and Michelle. Welcome to Sunny Saugatuck, and welcome to the Obus Lab. Hey, listen, today we're still talking about the Breville Bambino Plus. And we've done an episode on shooting a shot straight out of the box, and we'll put that episode up here. But now we're gonna talk about doing milk straight out of the box. That's the challenge, right? Can it be done? Is it easy to do? And to help prove that, we're going to bring our friend Carter back out again. So, Carter, why don't you come on out, please? All right. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. So, uh, you've, Carter, never steamed milk on this before. Nope. Right? And, uh, but you've steamed milk somewhere before. Yeah, right. somewhere. Okay. We're, we're not going to say where. I'm just going to say location, right? And, and before we get into this, I, I got to ask, because we haven't seen you in a couple weeks, but uh, yeah. you, you've had some pretty exciting things happen to It's you. been eventful. Yeah. It's been busy. Yeah. Senior homecoming was a big, a big highlight, my last one. And there was a crown. I was very honored to be king for a day. You were king was, for a day? It's quite fun. Well, as far as we're concerned, super intern, you're always a king. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's true. <laughs> so, okay, uh, enough of that. We, we've got to uh, go ahead and steam some milk, but uh, I'm going to show you a few things before we get started. And, and I'm going to take the portafilter out and just put it to the side just so everybody can see everything a little bit better. But we've got some buttons here. I need to make it so everybody can see it, and you too, so I'm going to have you slide down right. a little bit. This is the steam button. Okay. And that's a, just an on and an off. And... Uh, uh, the, the milk steaming is going to happen automatically, and the okay. temperature is going to happen automatically. Now, we, we have some control. It's not the most precise control, um, but we have degrees of control. Okay. Uh, so the bottom button here, the white light, uh, is how much foam you want. So uh, small, medium, large amounts of foam, right? Okay. And the bottom red button, controlled by this, is degrees of temperature. And as I measured it uh, in the lab here, First button's about 120, 140, 160. Okay. All right. And uh, the arm just comes out and in. Excellent. And you know you gotta gotta get gotta get this up and underneath. And what's really important is that it ends up on this little button right here. Okay. And there's because that button is the temperature sensor. Okay. Right. So that yeah. that's what's gonna tell the machine to turn this off when that moment happens when the temperature gets there. Okay. All right, gotcha. All right, uh, I'm going to have us go at 140. Uh, some would say you could go to 160, but you know I think uh, the flavor of milk begins to change at that uh, point in time. And we're going to go with the lowest setting of um, foam. And we're going to actually do this twice today. Okay. Uh, at the lowest and the highest setting so that we can just see the difference on that. Okay. All right. I'm going to point this a little bit more back to people again and we've got to load this up and we're going to use two percent milk here yep and oh yeah i yeah, should show everybody min -max. there's a there's a min max line here a min max and the min's about uh, 150 milliliters the max is about 250 milliliters okay. uh two percent as i mentioned i did pre-measure it just to keep things simple so we're going to pour to the to the min line okay and just go ahead and get that right in there right on and there we are okay so, you know, as mentioned, uh, it's always important to have uh, a towel handy. And, and in this particular case, when we're done, when we take the, the milk back off after it's heated off, we're going to want to wipe the wand off okay. before we set it back down. And when we set it back down, it's going to purge itself, right? Okay. So, because milk gets caught up in here and everything like that, and you don't want that. And so, Really nice features about the Breville. They, they've kind of taken care of all those ideas. It's perfect for a beginner. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna steam milk. We're gonna steam milk. Okay, uh, you gotta Just get go it, it under that arm. Yep. Pop it like that. Yeah, exactly. Got it on the sensor, I think. Yeah, right on. All right. And hit our button. Are we going for it? Yeah. Nice. Now, it's gonna make like some guttural 
noises okay. right there. there you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Because it, it's got to pump air into it, right? Right. So, uh, whenever we're heating milk, we're trying to do a couple things. We're trying to get some bubbles. Right. We're trying to heat it up, and we're trying to homogenize those bubbles. That's generally what we're doing. Now, the Breville machine takes care of it so that we don't have to do any of that. In later episodes, we're going to... We're going to show people how to do this manually. Okay. But, but our point of this episode is, can anybody do it out of the box, right? Yeah. That, that is sort of the question. Okay. And, uh, you know, I pulled some shots earlier, and I'm going to put a, a glass right here, because uh, when this is done, and it'll be done when the heat sensor says it's at 140. Okay. Could happen at any moment in time. Anticipation. Wow, we that makes a lot of noise. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, it's supposed to. No, yeah, that, I mean, yeah. that, those are coffee shop noises, yeah. you know, yeah. brought, to, brought to you at home. All right, so right, I'm going to grab your towel. I'm going to have you grab your towel. Got the towel. Yep, and you're going to get the milk out of there. And get the milk, and then we'll. Yeah, just set that milk to the side, wipe that wand. Yeah, you always want a towel and espresso. Not okay. bad. I think that's probably good enough for now. Okay. Set that down. There it goes. There we are. It's purging, which is nice. Yeah. And you can see, I mean, this is like milk that comes out of there. Yeah. You know, kind of gross. And so uh, we're confident that that's been uh, purged out at this point. Okay. All right. So uh, let me look at your milk. I'm going to show yeah. you first. There's some large bubbles in There's there. There's some large bubbles. Right? Uh, can you see those large bubbles? Uh, yeah, they don't show up quite as well on camera. But, okay. Yeah. So, uh, one thing, and we've already waited enough time. If we just give this a tap, those large bubbles will dissipate. And okay. they did. They're broken. You can sort of see the craters yeah. that are left. Yeah, yeah. And then the one thing that we're going to do, we're not doing latte art or anything like that here cool. today. But we're just going to uh, blend uh, the foam, the milk foam and the milk together. And I'm just going to have you pour this in. And you can just pour it in okay. uh, with, 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 with abandon, you know. And there we Ooh. go. Right on. And get everything out of it, everything you can. Okay. Now we're going to let that settle out okay. a little bit. Great. We're going right to our next one. Right back okay. at it? Yeah, right back at it. So I got another 150 mils for you. Cool, cool. Let's pour right on in. And pour that right in. Okay. Now the setting I'm going to have you change is take the, the white button or, okay. or the foaming button and take it all the way up to the top. Okay, and, and go ahead and get started again. Back again? Yeah. All right. And we're there. And go ahead and get started. Let's go. Boom. Now, are you feeling like this is easy? A little bit, yeah. I definitely <laughs> think like, I think I can do this. Yeah, yeah. For sure. good. For sure. Yeah. So, you know, uh, on milks, by the way, uh, the more fat there is, the harder it is to foam. The less fat there is, the easier it is to foam. So if we had skim milk here, and then 2%, and then uh, whole milk, the skim milk would foam the easiest, right? Okay. And the reason for it is, is the fat actually prevents the bubbles from forming. Right? right. So the more fat that there is, the harder it is to get bubbles out of the deal. Okay. Right? Yeah. But here's the thing about flavor. Right? Yeah. So the more fat that there is, the less coffee flavor there is up front in your tongue, but the fat is such a good delivery mechanism of flavor, it lasts longer. Interesting. Whereas skim or 2%, the coffee flavor would punch up really high in the beginning, yeah. but then there would be no follow through. So this is all personal preference kind of stuff. Yeah, you got to just get yeah, right in there. Get in so there. We did it. Do plant these milks foam well? Uh, yeah. The, it, they can. Right, so it depends how much fat they have in them. And so when I look at this particular one here, I noticed that it had sunflower oil in it, right? So they have to add fats or um, you lose flavor. You ever hear the phrase, the flavors in the fat? Well, that's right? true. Yeah. So, wow, it looks like look we have that. a lot more foam. Yeah. Right, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see oh, that yeah. very no, well. No, that's but yeah. a lot more foam. We're gonna give it that tap, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna try to integrate it a little bit more here okay and i'm gonna have you pour with abandon with, all right without abandon with abandon with, with and get it all out get it all out get it all out, oh, get it all out. Oh, okay hey. all right. 
That's almost latte art there, almost. We're getting there. Oh, no, Progress. not even close. No, no, <laughs> okay, so not at all. We're not, we're not going to suggest that at all, right? No. But what's interesting here, okay, is that we use 150 mils each time. Yeah. Right? Okay, but, and, and we had 60 mils of espresso on the bottom, but this glass is fuller than that glass. Right. right? So, you know, like I said, one of the things that we do when we steam milk is we add air bubbles. Yes. Well, that adds volume. Right. Right. right, right. So, okay. So we can clearly see we added a lot of volume, but look here. This is a latte. I mean, if you were a customer, you'd be like, "Well, you chipped me. You didn't fill it all the way up." But right. What you can notice is there's a thin layer of foam. Yeah. Right. Yeah, That's yeah. a latte. A cappuccino has a thick layer of foam. Oh yeah. And it's not something that we ladle on top, as you did. You just poured it. Right. All right in there, and it all just sort of lifts up. Now, technically, a, a cappuccino would generally be considered a third foam, a third milk, and a third coffee. And that's about what we have here. Okay. Right? So you've just made, never having used this before, no. a latte and a cappuccino. And, and, Look at that. And, and the way you did that is you just changed the amount of foam that the machine put into it. Right. That's cool. And, you know, if you take a shot of that. You know, the, the, the prize of well, uh, well done foam is that they should be micro bubbles. And frankly, it just did a really pretty good job yeah. of micro bubbles yeah, in there. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I like it. I want you to come back one more time, if you don't mind. Okay. So, you know, the word cappuccino comes from the Capuchin monks. And the Capuchin monks were a habit that was essentially this color or the color that you see on top of this foam right here, right? So there's just a little tidbit. Interesting. I don't think many people know. No, but, I didn't. But you know, after 26 years in the coffee business, I have learned a thing or two. Can Makes I ask sense. one question? Yeah. Is there a difference in mouthfeel between the two of them? So uh, mouthfeel, um, no, because we used uh, the same fat level, mm -hmm. right? So, and it, it sort of depends on one's um, definition of mouthfeel. Now, would this uh, be more velvety as you drank it? Yes, but where you would really feel it is on your lips, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, and I'll just sort of demonstrate that for you because a, a good cappuccino should end up with a little milk foam on your lips, right? Yeah. So you can taste those bubbles. You can notice those bubbles. They're not dish soap size. And so they do give it a shake-like consistency. So if by mouthfeel, that's what you mean. That's what I meant. There is a difference. Yeah. Right? So uh, Carter, do you think like anybody could do this? I think so. I think <laughs> I can do this. Like, I think I'm a pretty good level for everybody. So I don't know. For a guy that's a king, Right, kings can do it. Kings so can do it. Right, we've established that. But it seems like anybody could do this. Yeah, to me. And so, uh, we will demonstrate in future episodes how to manually do milk and how to do latte art. But that's not for us today. We wanted to show you that anybody can use the Breville Bambino Plus straight out of the box and make themselves uh, a latte or a cappuccino. And on that note, I think we'll sign off. And so I'm going to do part one. You'll do part two. Got you. Yep. Uh, when you love the world, the world will love you right back. Hey, thanks for joining us. For future episodes, click the subscribe button. Bean Basics is brought to you by OneBigIslandInSpace.com with two Gs.